Hey, kia ora. Hello, I'm Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling start to Fun Friday. Yes, it's that day of the week where we get to pick something out of the tin to um, plan for something to do during the following week that is fun. We've got 60 something ideas in here. Um, and sometimes I keep pulling out the same things over and over again, even though there's a whole bunch in there. But last week's one was to learn a song on the kalimba. And here's the kalimba. And this is a thing that you just use with your, that you use with your thumbs. You just, you want to kind of get this so you can see it. And it's got, and you get little stickers that you can put all of the little notes across the top here. Um, and they're even numbered. They're numbered as well. Hang on, i got to get this. Let's get that up there for you. Okay, so you can see that there's um, all the notes are written on the top, what the notes are, and the numbers are there with them. And you just... And it's just a little, it's, you can see, and it comes in this really cool, this one is a gecko columbra, and it comes in this really cool case. And you can see it's all very well padded. This is the little tuning hammer. So you can take this and to tune it. I'm not good at tuning. <laughs> but if you have to tune it, and I know this one I have to do, um, you just take this little, ham, this little hammer, hammer, and you just go to the top or the bottom, depending which way you have to go, and you just go... That one's sounding a little better now. Yeah, that was sounding a little flat before. Um, but yeah, so it comes in this little thing, and then you can learn all sorts of different tunes on it. You can't play flats and sharps, so it has to be whole notes, just to give you a reference. So we're gonna we're gonna give you a little concert here, <laughs> and then we're gonna choose what we're gonna do next week. But what's Fun Friday? Fun Friday is all about having fun. That's it. You know, I might end up making a complete fool out of myself in this. But I don't care. I'm having fun. And that's the whole thing behind this. So I'm going to put my little, see I have my little note things written down here on a piece of paper. So I just have the notes there so I can follow easy rather than trying to read the actual music. Because if I have to read the actual music, that might be a little more difficult to do. So are we ready? Let's see if we can get this done. <sighs> All right. So I had to learn to play a song. So see if you recognize it. Oops, hang on. Let's get going. Right, ready. Oops, hang on, sorry. Fingers get in the way. Yes, that one sounds better now. I tuned it. Oops, hang on. Yeah, that's all right. No, that's all right. No. what that bit is there but I'm following my notes yay I got through it <laughs> a couple of little scrubs but that's okay I mean I have been practicing I have been practicing but um so it's fun. This is a, like I said, it's a kalimba, and you can see how you can see how small it is. It just fits in your hand, so that you can just so you can just and you use your thumbs to play the key to play the notes. It's really cool. It's it's portable. I mean, it's portable. You can take it anywhere and play it anywhere. It's a lot smaller than a guitar. A lot smaller than a ukulele. Probably around the same size as a. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, about as portable as a flute and a recorder. Um, so that was that was my fun, fun Friday challenge from last week, which I had fun pulling it out and practicing. I didn't get to practice as much as I wanted to because this week's been crazy. But hey, I got to I got to play play you a tune. So I hope you enjoyed my little rendition of Doremi on the kalimba. Um, all right, gone in here. Oh, we got two. Let's go with this one. Have a picnic in a park. Oh, we could do that. If the air quality changed, we're under air quality warnings. Now, I have to tell you, this air quality warning thing is playing havoc with my breathing and my sinuses and everything. And um, <laughs> we've got air quality warnings out about how bad the ozone pockets are or something like that. That's not very good for you to breathe anyway. And <laughs> so they want you to reduce outside activity, reduce um, using any machinery that require, that puts off any fumes and all that sort of stuff. It started on Monday, was supposed to end Tuesday night. It is now Friday. They're extending it literally every day. It's still currently meant to be ending tonight. Um, and I thought, well, maybe it just needs the wind to come through. But we had a couple of... Actually, I haven't put the awning in all week. Because when the wind gets up, I put usually put the awning in. I have not put the awning in at all this week, which shows you how much wind we've actually had here. Um, so, um, let's say so the 14th of May. 14th May 2021, I'm going to write that on there, now I've got to write it in my little Life Adventures notebook, so I know we're having a picnic in a park, um, and then last night, <laughs> I am still suffering from last night, which is why my voice is a little hoarse today, um, so last night, for some unknown reason, just because I can, I ended up watching one of my favorite video clips that will always, no matter how many times I watch it, I will always end up in fits of laughter with this video. And that is the outtake of the Carol Burnett show with the elephant story. With Tom Conaway, it's got um, Vicki Lawrence, Carol Burnett, Dick Van Dyke's there, and um, Tim Conway. And he's telling the story about the elephants and things. If you have not seen Carol Burnett, the elephant outtake on YouTube, please go look it up. It is up. They have one which talks about the elephant and the dwarf, but then it goes into the second one. And the story behind, and there was two versions. They did, the first one with the elephant and the dwarf was done during their dress rehearsal. And then they have like about, an, and there's a video of Vicki Lawrence talking about this. And um, about the behind the scenes thing on this. So she said, we had finished our thing. And this is when, the, and then we go back and we get something to eat, freshen up our makeup and everything else, get ready for to go to do the live show and everything. And the producer comes around and gives you notes and, and might say, okay, in this scene we're cutting this line, in this scene we want you to say this instead. You know, it gives you production notes, we want you on this mark instead of this one and, um, and all of that. And she said on this particular day, um, they had practiced the thing with the elephant and the dwarf story. And uh, he, they, well, the only warning they got was that, um, it was that the elephant skit had changed and good luck. And they were like, what? That was all That was all their production notes were for that day, was the elephant scene had changed and good luck. And, uh, and nobody knew what was going to happen. Nobody. I don't think any, I don't even think the production crew actually knew what was going to happen. Um, <laughs> and they got to that scene and uh, she's talking about how during the first part of it, how, you know, you got to be serious and she thought she was younger that she had to be serious because she was the new kid on the block type of thing and so she's talking about how serious that she had to be and how she had to hold it together and she couldn't let loose yet because she didn't feel like she had earned the right to let loose um and then she talks about how the scene comes about and how um Al who was the makeup artist who actually she ended up marrying <laughs> turned her and says she says he turns around and says he says you got to you got to get him you got to get him you got to get him and uh, so that's when that famous line comes out at the end of that skit. So if you haven't, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. So last night, for whatever reason, I don't know why, um, I'd actually ended up, um, actually saw the video of her, the interview, just a snippet of her interview about the best blooper from, Carol, from the Carol Burnett show, which was these two elephant things. And, um, and she's talking about what was happening with the cast while they're actually doing the second, the actual live version of it. And um, and how she got Tim Conway back, and uh, <laughs> and I thought I got it, and for whatever reason I thought I had to go watch it again. So I sit there and I'm watching it. For some reason, it hit me really, really hard on the funny side. I just absolutely lost it. Now the problem is, is that if I lose it when I'm laughing, 
I forget to take air in. I'm just laughing so hard I can't take air in. And I end up having these massive coughing fits. And, um, and that's what happened last night. I was just having this humongous coughing fit. And it went on for ages. And I finally managed to calm myself down. But then it's like when you think about when you, um, if you um, choke on something, like if something goes down the wrong way, that type of thing. And how for ages afterwards you still have those, that coughing thing that comes back again. Because you still feel like you've got something stuck in your lungs. That's how it felt. So for like about an hour or two after that until I finally managed to get myself into bed because I felt like it had calmed down enough. Because every time I laid down I'd start coughing. And um, so I finally got myself calmed down enough that I could actually go to bed. But it was like two hours afterwards that I've actually felt comfortable enough to go to bed without suffocating on a cough or anything like that. And, uh, or choking again when I laid down. So, um, but that one hit me really hard and really funny last night. So if you have not watched the Carol Burnett elephant story or you need a reminder of just how funny it is, please go watch it. And, you know, it's, it's got to be one, it's got to be one of the funniest videos of all time. It has to be right up. I would love to see a list on YouTube of, of, of um, like people voting for what they think is the funniest video of all time and take these classic comedies and what scene from each of the comedies or the outtakes is the funniest that makes the funniest video of all times. And um, I would love to see it. And I think this would be somewhere, if it's not number one, it would be somewhere very near number one. Because um, that video, like I said, I have, I lost count the number of times I have seen it but every time I see it I end up cracking up laughing last night for some reason it was it just hit me extremely funny and I ended up in this huge coughing fit because of it and Brad always, <laughs> Brad always it was good because Brad would always be there and he'd start like whacking me on the back and he'd be going breathe breathe whack whack breathe whack whack breathe <laughs> it's almost like he's doing CPR but from the back instead of from the front um because I would just end up in these massive, massive coughing fits. So if I so if I find something really funny and I start laughing really, really hard, I end up having these massive coughing fits. And when you're in an area where there's bad air quality and stuff, you're inhaling all of this crap. Fortunately, we were inside in the ACs, and the ACs going, so that filtered out a lot of it. Um, but um, this morning I woke up, sinuses, complete mess, goop going down the back of my throat. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm just hoping my vocal cords will hold out. I've got, to, I've got to drink hot tea on a hot day, and I'm sort of like, I am not a hot tea drinker on a hot day. And I hate cold tea, so don't even suggest the cold tea. So water is going to be mightily important today. Lots of water, although I do need to have hot drinks to help clear the back of the throat and protect the vocal cords. So um, anyway, on that lovely note, so I'm hoping that tomorrow we're out of the, the, um, the bad air quality thing. And that maybe someday we'll go for a picnic. Yeah, maybe someday we can go do a picnic. Seth and I, we'll go find a park somewhere and have a picnic or something. I don't know. We'll go find somewhere. And even if we sit in the car and have a picnic together. I like that. I can sit in the car and have a picnic. <laughs> I can even go sit in the trunk of my car and, and sit there and have my little picnic. And Zeph's got her little area there on the back seat in her little hammock space. And um, although she'll be having her head, her front paws up on the back seat, looking down at me, going, "Well, where's that cheese stuff? I want some of that cheese stuff." She loves her cheese. She loves cheese. I pull out those little. I can pull anything out of the fridge, and she won't think. The moment I pick up a baby bell, all I have to do is just pick it up. Boom! She's there, like, "Where's my bit?" She loves the baby bell cheeses. But anyway, that's it from me for Fun Friday. Hope you enjoyed the little recital on the, on the kalimba. Um. And sometime this week I'm going to do a picnic. But please let us know in the comments below. What fun activity are you going to be working towards this week? What fun activity are you going to get up to this week? Um, remember, put it in your calendar. Plan that time into your calendar. Well, that's it from me. So everybody have a super... Oh, and we're still doing a, I'm still doing a revamp on the genealogy and history. Um, I'm planning on bringing that back tomorrow. Because um, I'm going to be making some tweaks and changes to it. So... Um, yeah, going to be making some tweaks and changes to it. So I'm working on, working on a different con. The same thing of telling you about what happens on this day in history. So I'm still going to be doing that, but I'm trying to find another tweak that I can do it so it's a little more interesting, a little more genealogy involved in it. Um, but yeah, and I'm hoping to have the first of that either out Saturday or Sunday. So planning to get it done by tomorrow and have the first re 
revamp tomorrow, but we will see how things go. So have a super fantastic sparkling, hang on, I've lost my pom-pom. I only have one now because I shook the other one so hard that it snapped and I had these, had these bits go everywhere. So have a super fantastic sparkling fun Friday and we will catch you guys later today. Heck on it up.